Sisters Kathy and Robin Beek grew up in Boulder and during their teen years were employed at the local Crossroads and Fox movie theaters. Such vocations allowed them to view as many films as they wanted, foreshadowing the life they would later lead as the founders of BIF, the Boulder International Film Festival. It came as no surprise that later, Robin, as an amateur filmmaker, gained awards, praise, and recognition for her first independent film. The success of this film led the sisters on a whirlwind tour of film festivals around the world and inspired them to start their own in their own hometown community. Gosh, we went to dozens of film festivals. Mm -hmm. All over, up in Canada, all over the U.S., and also overseas in England. And um, yeah, we had an opportunity to really see how film festivals work. thought Boulder was the perfect place for a film festival. We thought someone will start that at some point. Uh, it's the perfect place, but nobody ever did. So finally we said, well, let's do it ourselves. We pulled all our favorite elements of the other film festivals we had attended and put them all into this festival. It's funny when you hold your first film festival because you have no idea if there's going to be 10 people there and it's your family or if there's going to be more and we had no idea. We ended up with 5,000 people the first year and that's when we knew that Boulder was just a perfect place that they would uh, come celebrate this event, that they'd be really interested and enthusiastic and it's grown now from the first year at 5,000 people to last year six, over 16,000 people attended the festival. We're getting more and more people every year uh, from out of state which we think is really important because that's the whole economic vitality uh, you know, segment of the festival where we really want to bring in big crowds from out of town and, and help boost the economy. At BIF there is something for everybody in regards to film and choosing the right program is what makes it a success. Now, the best element of a film is a great story. You've got to have that first. Over 50 films that we choose and, and we want to you know, give the audiences the absolute best film that we possibly can find. And a lot of the films that we've taken here at BIF have gone on to be nominated for an Academy Award, um, to win huge prizes afterwards. She tries to identify those films that aren't uh, the hot new film yet, you know, there she discovers film. We think that film uh, is motivational, it's inspirational, it's educational, uh, it's enlightening. What we did this year was to bring um, a lot of local community groups together into the festival to speak at different films. It's a call to action. It's to give uh, people who see these films uh, a, a list of solid things they can do to help make this change. So you don't just go to a film and say, wow, that was very powerful, and you leave the theater and then you just go home. Film has the power to change the world, and our Call to Action program is going to help do that one film at a time. Film festivals usually carry with them the essence of glamour, and Boulder's Film Festival is no different. Bringing in Hollywood icons has definitely put the glitz on Biff. At Biff 2010, the Beak Sisters brought celebrity Alec Baldwin to town. We were really excited this year that Alec Baldwin came three weeks before hosting the Academy Awards because that is such a high profile event and it really put um, the publicity out there for us. He loved the festival, he loved Boulder, and, it, and he loved you, Kathy. <laughs> the funny part about inviting Alec, sometimes people say, well, how do you get these people to come? And um, we just sent him a letter, but I had uh, sent him the wrong letter. It was a draft that was not finished. So there were many mistakes in this letter. And uh, I realized it right after I sent it. And I she said, came rushing over to me, how do you get an email back? And I said, you can't get an email back. And I said, oh no, I, you know, I, I sent him the wrong letter. It was a draft copy and Robin started laughing. And I said, why are you laughing? And she said, because he's not coming, Kathy. <laughs> And then the next day, we got an email from his uh, assistant saying, this is something Alec might be interested in. Could you give me a call? He'd like to talk to you today. And I think a lot of people are interested in coming to Boulder. I mean, it's definitely a destination to come to. Absolutely. hotels, hiking, just everything. So it's just a perfect um, way to invite stars here to, to lure them with our beautiful city. With all its glitz and glamour, BIF is still a non-profit organization and is wholly made possible by contributors in the community who want to see it happen every year. It's not Robin and I putting on this film festival. It is hundreds of people. It's community support. It's 
people that really want to see this move forward. They're making contributions of time and money and enthusiasm. We were loving movies in Boulder when we were in high school uh, here, so we, this is our town and, and this is such a community festival and to have grown up here and worked in the movie theaters and so forth and now to be doing this is, is just a dream come true for us.